Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackYear.com, and today we're going to break down the all-new RS Tai Chi RSJ326 Tech Air Race Compatible Racer Mesh Jacket. Okay, 339 is the retail for this jacket. As of the time we're shooting this video, please understand we don't update videos for pricing changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. This is the first Tech Air compatible jacket from RS Tai Chi, and they chose to go with one that is compatible with the Tech Air Race system. This doesn't work with the Tech Air Street. With that said, it could be used, if you choose to do so, with the all new Tech Air 5 as well. Sizing, let's dive right into that. Five feet 11 inches tall, about 197 pounds, 33 inch waist. I am wearing an extra, extra large in this jacket. The Japanese sizing is a little bit different than what we're normally used to. I do have my Tech Air Race vest on underneath this. We are reviewing two new Tai Chi mesh jackets right now. One of them is Tech Air compatible, that's the one I have on right now. And the other one is not. I would say the cut of this Tech Air compatible jacket is noticeably bigger than the other coat is, okay? And they're very similar jackets in the end. They're doing that to help manage possible deployment, okay? The jacket needs to have enough space in it to deal with deployment. That airbag has to have somewhere to go. And as you can see on this coat, they didn't build in a bunch of stretch panels. This isn't made out of a real elastic material, okay? So there has to then be enough volume in the coat to make up for the deployment of the vest. So this jacket is not something I would recommend a rider to buy if you did not plan to use a Tech Air vest underneath. I feel like you could save money and buy the other model that looks super, super similar, almost identical actually, right? And roll with that instead. This one, of course, and you can see, my, unfortunately, uh, right now my vest is going to be sent in for a recharge, okay? But it comes with the LED, it comes with the harness for the Tech Air Race system. It includes CE Level 1 armor in the elbow form and shoulder. There is a foam back pad in it. I took it out to get a good fit from the jacket. We'll talk about that more later on. You could leave that in if you need to take up additional space. A volume adjustment is found here in the cuff. Forearm, bicep, waist, large mesh panels, tons of airflow with this jacket. Got another storage panel right here on the left breast with a locking zip. Zippered hand warmer style storage pockets, large entry to these pockets. A lot of the short street gloves, you'd be able to leave those on and still operate these pockets. They've got a bigger zipper pull, right? And just a simply a bigger entry so you're able to get your hands in and out. Tai Chi has built in some reflectives on the jacket as well. Some pretty smart styling cues with this. There are some additional pockets for storage internally that we'll show you in the second half of this video. I think the real high points here are going to be, this is Tech Air compatible, okay? Really not a lot of reason to buy this if you're not going to be using one of the two Tech Air vests, the Tech Air 5 or the Tech Air Race that I have underneath this. The bonus, if you're a track rider and you have a race suit that is Tech Air compatible and have the vest, you can repurpose that same vest with this street jacket and all you have to do is simply connect it to your PC, switch modes from street, or I'm sorry, from track to street and you're good to go. So it just helps you spread out the money that you invested in the vest and use it more often. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install the Tech Air Race vest from Alpine Stars into the Tai Chi Racer mesh jacket. The first thing you want to do, this jacket comes with a foam back pad, okay? There is no certification or anything with it, it's just in there, it's, it's kind of a spacer, right? Most riders are going to need to remove that when you install your Tech Air Race vest so that you have enough room inside the coat to manage a deployment if in fact you happen to have a crash while wearing the Tech Air race vest and jacket combo. So you need to first take and pull the wiring harness for the Tech Air vest through the jacket. There is a hole in the back protector pad. You then pull that through. 
slide that out. If the jacket happens to be a little bit to the loose side on you and you're like, you know what, I could really use that in there to pick up the additional space to get a better fit, feel free to use that. It's not really going to be any kind of negative, okay? But if the jacket's on the tight side, you want to make sure that you have enough room inside the coat to allow for the deployment of the vest itself. Go ahead and Velcro the pocket back together and then we can begin installing the Tech Air Race Vest. I'm just going to kind of hurry that part along there. Okay, the vest itself. It has multiple attachment points. We have on the sleeve a rectangular patch of Velcro and a circular one up here at the shoulder. It's going to be the same on both sides. We have a rectangular patch here at the base of the neck. We then have two yellow zippers that will zip into the lapel of the jacket on the matching color-coordinated yellow zips, okay? Plugging the unit in, right here on the back, notice the color-coordinated connector. You want to make sure your unit is then switched on. How I like to install these is I like to reach into the sleeve, whether it's a race suit or coat, reach into the sleeve and kind of pull out the inner liner like so. Now I'm going to go a little quicker here than I normally would if I was going to be wearing the garment. Get this lined up. What I found is the better job you do aligning all the Velcro patches between the jacket and the vest, the more comfortable the garment ends up being over the long haul. So we're going to do that on both sleeves. It's important to note too that you need to switch the Tech Air Race from race or track mode to street mode anytime you plan to use the vest on the street. The main reason for that is going to be it uses a different algorithm for the street as compared to the track and also all vests from extra small up to extra large, right? They're able to deploy twice on the track. They can only deploy once on the street. It's gonna use both charges for a street crash because street crashes can be more unpredictable than a track crash requiring faster inflation and more complete protection. Let's go ahead and zip those up. Okay, and now your Tech Air Race is installed in the jacket. Okay, a quick look from the inside out. The armor that is included with the jacket. We have CE Level 1 certified soft shell armor. You can see this is really moldable, flexible, and comfortable. This is your elbow and form. This is your shoulder piece. Foam back pad insert, right? There is no certification here. If you need to leave this in there as a spacer to take up additional volume in the jacket, feel free to do so. Shell the coat itself, you know, all the fabrics they use, they have a really nice hand. Tai Chi builds a great motorcycle jacket. We have reflectives here on the back of the coat, okay, so you have good nighttime visibility. Embroidered logo here. Innovative technology, that appears to be reflective, and there is like, you know, a little bit of a texture and like a little print here on the textile fabric too, in the abrasion zones. They're using a heavier denier fabric instead of just the mesh panel, okay. Sleeve of the coat, got your Tech Air compatible logo, volume adjuster like we showed you earlier in the bicep area, as well as in the forearm area, volume adjuster here in the cuff is managed with Velcro, got the little Tai Chi logo embossed in the Velcro there, looks pretty good. Front of the coat, large mesh panel, a lot of cooling with this, okay? Mesh fabric is also used on the inner arm, so you're going to get tremendous airflow with this jacket. Some reflectors up here in the front. This looks like it's reflective as well. Exterior storage pocket here, locking zipper on the left breast. It's kind of a narrow pocket, you can see that, and it's about this deep. It terminates right about here. Locking zippers on the hand warmer style storage pockets. It's got a nice zipper pull. This is a, a good quality zip. They use really high-end stuff at Tai Chi. With that said, what we did notice with these jackets is you want to make sure that you've got really good pull-down and engagement here on your zipper to ensure that it's lined up correctly and locked in place. A little flap here to help protect the tank of your motorcycle so it doesn't get scratched. Get inside the coat. There is a little connection 
loop here. So if you want to connect this to the belt loop on your pants, you can easily do that. Super comfortable mesh liner. They use some really high end stuff. It feels nice against the skin. Lined collar, slip style storage pocket here. On the left side, this is a bigger pocket. That looks like it's gonna be tall enough to accept some of your larger uh, cell phones. Pocket to remove the back protector is right here. Just a little Velcro flap, open that up, pull it right out if you're gonna be using your Tech Air vest. I really feel that's the right play with this jacket. If you're not gonna be using the Tech Air race vest or the Tech Air 5, there's really no reason to buy this. They have other jacket options that are very similar to this at lower price points. So this is Tech Air focused for sure. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm here to help you all get a great experience with your next purchase from STG.